I love to play games, and today I'm going to do what I love. Buy a new game and play it. I also hate buying games and three hours into them, finding out they're rubbish, and now I can't get a refund anymore, and my money's wasted. So I created this channel so I can make sure it won't happen to you. Hello everyone, and welcome to Money's Worth. This time I bought Kill the Crows on Steam for 4 euros and 99 cents. To find out if this game is worth your money and time, I will play it for 5 hours or until I complete the game. When I'm done, I'm going to rate the game on 3 categories. Gameplay, to see if the game is fun and works well. Content, to find out if there is enough for you to do. And lastly, money's worth, to let you know if I think you can buy this game without risking wasting your money. I also hate getting a game spoiled in a review, so the footage you're going to see is from the beginning of the game and won't ruin your experience. I will complete the game or play it for five hours and be back with my ratings and i'm back i have now played Kill the crows for a little over three hours and i unlocked everything in the game and completed all the steam achievements let's move on in this top-down arena shooter you have to survive waves of enemy crows trying to take you out you only have one life and anything hitting you will take you out and you have to restart your run to defend yourself you have a gun and the ability to do a showdown the first gun you get has six shots it will not reload automatically, so you have to press the button every time. First gun can also be reloaded one bullet at a time. So if you need to reload one bullet and shoot again, you can do so. When you activate showdown, the game will slow down and you have a short moment to mark what targets you want to shoot. And when you release the button, it will fire. The first showdown takes seven kills to charge and can mark up to six targets and will also reload your gun. You also have a dodge roll with a short cooldown. The first waves consist of a few different enemies. A crow running towards you trying to hit you with an X. Another trying to shoot you with a slow projectile, which is easily dodged. Third sniper crow takes aim at you and after a short moment to shoot a fast projectile that is hard to avoid unless you roll at the right time or hide behind an object. Later on you will encounter different enemies, but I will not spoil them. There is only one level that goes on and on. Every 100 kill you encounter a boss. In my three hours I only encountered one type of boss, so I reckon there is only one. Only progression you have other than playing the same level to get a higher score is unlocking and trying out different builds. You have three different things to unlock. Guns, showdowns and perks. The guns have different up and down sides and you can pick the one that suits your playstyle the most. The showdowns change how they are used and each needs to be used strategically to be efficient. You can have two different perks at a time. They are all good and it is hard to choose since you would want all of them at once if you could. The gameplay works all right and it is fun to initially try out different unlocks, but it gets monotone quite quick. The game is pretty hard but needs more levels and more enemies. I will rate the gameplay a 3 out of 5. There is only one level which is a bit disappointing. Unlocking everything took me 3 hours and after that I did not feel like there was more to do. I will rate the content a 2 out of 5. Kill the Crows is cheap at 4 euros and 99 cents. The game lacks content and it hurts the gameplay. Adding more levels and some more progression goals would make this game great. I will rate the money's worth a 2 out of 5. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found out if Kill the Crows could be your money's worth. Leave a like and subscribe to follow my journey. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.